Hello there and welcome to Balloon TV here in the loft bar at the Gilded Balloon, the heart of this year's Edinburgh Fringe. Here's this week's news. This week in town we've got Ronnie Golden and the legend that is Barry Cryer. Also, Henry Rollins is here. The comedic legend, Rona Cameron, is back in town. Great reviews are flooding in. The Patriot Act, The Sound of Fury, Cyrano's and Sister Cities, starring today's guest, Jill Gascoigne. Congratulations are in order for the paper birth production of In A Thousand Pieces. They won the Scotsman's Fringe First Award. And the, uh, the state newspapers, Acting Excellence Awards, have also been announced. And yes, you guessed it, the paper birds have been nominated for Best Ensemble. Also nominated was Karen Dunbar for her solo performance in A Drunk Woman Looks At The Thistle. Will Lynham was also nominated for his role in the Patriot Act. Good luck, folks. Get your tickets now for the world's greatest comedy competition. Oh, yes, So You Think You're Funny is back this Thursday. It promises to be a great night. Celebrity Rona Cameron will be comparing the evening, and also celebrity judge Johnny Vegas will be flying in, especially from Benny Dorm, to be here live at the balloon. Get your tickets in this Thursday. As ever, our street team are working very, very hard, tirelessly, to keep you informed. Let's see how our new contender fares in this week's Fly or Die. Hi Stephen, all right now, welcome to the third week of Fly or Die. This week I've got with me Livy. Now Livy, we've only had six flies in 20 seconds so far. Do you reckon you can beat it this week? I'll give it a go. I really think seven is my lucky number, so. I'll all right, it, yeah. fantastic. Yeah, On your marks. Get set, go. Jim Owen, 85 into Waiting Hall. Um, Irish, very, very funny. Dirt, a one-man show, 12.15 in The Sportsman. Really sad, but incredible. Uh, Ali Cook, a magician. He's on at 9.15 in The Sportsman. Um, Damien Callahan, 16.15, Balcony. Um, penis jokes, brilliant. Uh, just in case, children's show, 11.30 in The Billiard Room. Incredible. Um, Diet of Worms, 5.15 in The Billiard Room. This is really <laughs> sad. Oh, <laughs> I, I think it's actually surreal, but it's very surreal. Very surreal. I reckon surreal. we can take that. I reckon we can take that. That's six flyers again. Yeah. We still, we get to beat it, but you're on par with the other ones. Brilliant. Are you proud? Very proud. You've very done proud. very well. Okay, we're still going to beat six flies in 20 seconds. We'll see if we can do it next week on Fly or Die. Back to you, Stephen. Six shows again. I can't believe it. You know what this means? It means next week we're going to get them all back here to have a flyer off. Who will win? You'll have to check in next week and find out. It's not easy putting a show together for the first time here at The Fringe, especially if you're a newcomer. Last week's news, we spoke about Lady Garden. We sent back out to meet them to see how they put the whole thing together. Doing a show in Edinburgh Fringe is always a daunting task, but these six ladies have managed it, and then some. With packed shows, rave reviews, and celebrity-filled audiences, Lady Garden are taking Gilda Balloon by storm. Today, I have the privilege of spending a few hours with them to show you the day in the life of Lady Garden. Hello, ladies. Here we are, backstage in the VIP area <laughs> of the Gilded Balloon nightclub. This is where we hang out in our leotards. This is your first set of a friend, isn't it? Yeah. How are you finding it? Brilliant. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Much better than we anticipated. Yeah, the response has been just really, really good and, you know, really encouraging. Everyone's been so welcoming. How do you come up with the material? Um, when we're talking about it as a group, someone will say, oh, I have to tell you this person I met the other day, and, and the character will come out of that. Turn around, every now and then you get a little bit lonely and you go and get a grab. It was 
a fantastic way to spend 50 minutes. I wish it had been a little bit longer. But it was really good. Absolutely. Cried with laughter. Very, very funny, funny women. Great sketches. Um, really enjoyed it. Well, it's really lovely chatting to you girls. I wish you all the best of luck and I really look forward to catching you guys next year. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Let you get on with your drinking. Cheers, girls. Cheers. 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 Now, ladies and gentlemen, show feature time. I'm so excited by my very special guest, a magnificent actress, a Hollywood legend, I dare say, a novelist. She's here at the Gilded Balloon doing a play. We're going to talk to her about it. Please welcome Jill Gascoigne. Hey. <laughs> Hello, my darling. Hello, how are you? I'm very well. Where's my drink? Oh, oh that's a, um, child. Lovely, now you may go. Now, Jill, yes. you returned to Edinburgh after how many year absence? Oh, years, years. Seventies. End of the seventies. No, no, beginning of the seventies. Beginning of the child, you weren't even born, were you? No, no, no. So what, what made you come back? What was, the, what was the draw? We're doing a play called Sister Cities. Sister Cities. Which my girlfriend wrote. Lovely. Yes. I noticed in, the, uh, in one of the uh, national newspapers here, uh, um, they were praising your performance. Yes, they were. Outstanding, they say. Which is, I don't move for 15 years. <laughs> Well, most of our viewers will obviously know you from your huge body of catalogue of work here in the UK. Um, they probably don't know that you're actually living in Hollywood now yes. and mainly writing novels, is that correct? Yes, I'm doing the garden and looking after the dogs and you know, my husband is working a lot. So, <laughs> so are you finding, an, a, what, what, what is, what's the joy? Is it, is it, is it bringing you back to, to kind of the, the early days when you started out in your career, seeing all these young, energetic young kids doing their first shows and things like that? What, coming here? Mm. Oh God, yes. It's, it's just the, the most wonderful experience. Uh, I've never stayed up as late for years as I am now. I'm never drunk as much. It's such a great time we're having. I love it in Borough. What a wonderful, wonderful city it is. Will you be back? Absolutely I'll be back, yes. And can I just say, I don't mean to be rude, but um, we, we spoke the other day and you and you told me your age, yes. which I was astounded by. Uh, uh, can, we, can we mention that? Yeah, if you want to. Can you remember what it yes, was? Yes, 71, yes, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> My God, but congratulations. I, I just, I, it's brilliant. I didn't you're, do anything to do it. You're an inspiration. Yeah, I'm very tired in the mornings. <laughs> I'm going to wrap in the morning. Yeah, mate. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's have a look at the show. There's this theatre in Palm Springs that only hires dancers in their 80s. I've known about it in my 40s, and I spent the next three decades planning my retirement as an octogenarian burlesque dancer in Palm Springs. <laughs> what? You don't think I could have made it with these gams? I was born for it. It's that time in the show where we go backstage and talk to our techie crews. You know, the guys who are full of wisdom, insight, and deep thought. This week, it's Cass, and he is the chief sound man here at the Gilded Balloon. Hi there, I'm Cass, I'm the production coordinator for Gilded Balloon. Okay, so, I was saying. Yeah, thanks, Cass. That was some sound advice. Anyway, the show's over. Have you had a good time, gang? Yeah! <laughs> That's the kind of sound I like to hear. So you've got to tune in next week, folks, for the last ever Balloon TV show of this year, because the festival is coming to a close. What a great show you've had today. Jill Gascoigne, give it up. Woo! Tune in next week and, and, and enjoy your lives. All right, bye for now. <laughs>